Hey SiriusXM, it's Willow, and I'm going to be making my mixtape. I'm going to be given one prompt, and I'm going to have to think of a song to go through. A song of mine that I love to perform. I would have to say maybe it's my fault. It's very different than, than my other songs that I've done in the past, and it seems to really get the crowd going. Maybe It's My Fault was the second song I recorded uh, for this new album. And, you know, before recording that song, I was still saying that I wasn't really making an album. I was like, oh no, I'm just chilling. I'm, I'm not making an album. But then after Maybe It's My Fault came to be, I was like, mm, I think I gotta make an album now. This, 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 is, this is feeling right. A song that I know all the words to. I would have to say a song that I know all the words to is Pay Your Way in Pain by St. Vincent. I just love St. Vincent and that song off of her new project Daddy's Home is uh, just the best. I, I just love it so much. I take a lot of inspiration from St. Vincent. I uh, play her Music Man uh, collab guitar that, that she made with Music Man. I've been playing it for about, I want to say, three or four years now. I really haven't put it down. It is my favorite guitar. And every time I go on stage with it, I just feel like I'm invoking just the power and beauty of St. Vincent. A song that I use to warm up. I actually use my song Hover Like a Goddess to warm up. Uh, because there's just so many like ups and downs with the vocal and the vocal dexterity uh, just needs to be so on point in order for it to sound the way I want it to sound. So I always try to test myself before every show by doing that song. A song that I love to end my performances with. Love ending with Wait a Minute. Everyone just loves that song and it's just a beautiful way to kind of let my fans know like I didn't, I didn't leave out your favorite one guys. Um, and so, yeah, I love that song. A song that reminds me of my childhood uh, is really anything off of Baduism. But if I'm gonna be specific, I would, I would have to say Apple Tree. My mom was always playing Erica Badu in the house. Any song off of Baduism is just gonna take me right back to being a little youngster. A song that represents the future. I really, really love Tune Yards. There's a song by her called Gangsta that is really just, it's unlike anything I've ever heard before. And I think that's why I would say it's, it's, it reminds me of the future because I feel like in the future, the way we think about music is gonna completely change and we're not gonna be obsessed with this like C major 4-4 four, four expression of everything. And she completely says, F, C major, 4-4, four, four. we are going into the depths of the unknown in music. So I love that. My favorite song from Primus. Actually, it's changing. I used to say it was Aaron on the side of uh, Caution from Conspiranoid, but now I'm really feeling Lacquerhead off of Anti-Pop. Um, the, the album cover of that album is just crazy. Like. It just looks so cool, and that song is just so hard. I think Primus has always inspired me, just Les Claypool being this like musician, just like God. Um, I, I just love everything he does. But I will say maybe the harder like metal-y sounds coming in um, would, be, would be inspired by Primus. Oh my goodness, favorite song from Kid Cudi. I can't just say one. Um, I would have to say Confused and Fuchsia Butterflies. Um, I mean, Speeding Bullet to Heaven was an iconic project and anyone who didn't like it is uh, really, really not my favorite. Favorite song from Tyler, the Creator. There's a song that he did with, with Erica. I think it was called like Tree Home. I think it was called something like that. Um, I also really, really love um, Black Magic Wand. That's a really amazing song. Um, Tyler is just an icon. I, I honestly, I can't, I can't give you, I can't give you one. My favorite song from Radiohead is probably Knives Out, but uh, but now I'm also thinking it might be off of their album Kid A, Idiotech. Um, so so different. Knives Out and Idiotech are very very different songs, but I feel like. Just, I can't, Radiohead is just the best band ever. Like, like ever, like, ugh, what am I gonna do? 
some of the sonic soundscapes that I really love from Radiohead is like kind of that dissonance. I want you to know he's not coming back. That weird, those notes that he chooses. I just feel like that dissonance uh, and kind of that spooky sound. I like to emulate with, with you know, the guitar chords and the harmonies, um, you know, FC major, 4-4. Four, four. We're, we're going straight into dissonance. One of my favorite songs from System of a Down, I actually have to pick two, Jesus. Uh, Sugar, love Sugar, and I also love Science. Sugar and Science, two S songs from System of a Down. Uh, amazing songs. I've never performed a System of a Down song, but I would love to. One of my favorite songs from Artipithecus, I mean, we love Wait a Minute. There's, there's one song on there, it starts with a bass riff. Oh my goodness, I'm the worst that I need to look at my phone to, to remember this song off of my own album. Uh, hold on, hold on, wait for it. Wait for it. Drugs, love that song. I also love Random Song. Artipithecus, let's just start with a name. Um, are just, are bones of one of the first hominid, uh, hominid like evolutions of humans that were found and excavated. Um, it's like a scientific name for those bones. The reason why I chose that, I mean, the album cover is kind of like a take on evolution. At the time I was kind of excavating, excavating like, parts of myself that I felt like were always there, but um, I never really dug deep enough to kind of get there. It was all kind of in this uh, vibe of evolution, and um, yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna be my favorite album, <laughs> so I kind of was like, okay, this is my first one, it's all me, and I need people to know that I'm gonna evolve and it's gonna get better, and this is not the end all. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely knew I was kind of throwing a bunch of stuff at the wall and wait a minute stuck. So that's great. The first is one of my favorite albums of mine uh, because it was right when I started playing guitar and I had never picked up an electric guitar. I was only playing acoustic. I mean, most of these songs were written by me before I knew how to play the guitar. And so there were a lot of things, a lot of choices that I made that I probably wouldn't make now, but that were very iconic at the time in my head. <laughs> I would have to say, wow, my favorite song off of the first. Jeez, I'm literally the worst person of all time. I can't believe I can't remember my own album. Okay, and Contentment. The first, the first lyrics of that song, happiness and contentment, are made from 100% personal experience and zero comparison. Or maybe those two are switched. But, um, yeah. So Dev Hines is actually on this song. Um, Dev Hines is actually on that song, Oh No. And that was also one of my favorite songs. I love Dev Hines, don't we all? Uh, Blood Orange. So yeah, And Contentment and Oh No would have to be my favorite songs off of uh, the first. Willow, okay, now this is where it gets spicy. Willow, Willow is like my psychedelic rock kind of, uh, just ode to psychedelic rock. I mean, even the cover, you know, I'm just kind of in this like weird kind of purpley, like thermal vibe. And, you know, one of my favorite songs off of that album would have to be Then. Even though it's not a full song, there's just something about the spaciness of it and just kind of just the, the psychedelicness of it all that I really, really love. Samo is Now is one of my favorite ones as well. Um, I mean, overthinking it in Time Machine, you know, they, they definitely went hard, but I, I, I will say that the more kind of like moody, dark, psychedelic songs are my favorite ones off of that album. That album also, I was starting to get a little better at the guitar, which I'm, I'm very happy about. In order to get better at anything, you have to practice it every day. Um, and, you know, that's what I do. I, I try to just play the songs that I love. Um, I try to play solos that I love, even though I fail miserably. Um, and you just have to do it again and again for, for the love of music. The Anxiety, ooh, there's so many beautiful songs off of this record. I really, really love Entertain. Entertain is one of my favorite songs off of that album. Um, it's the darkness of the piano in it and feeling like, you know, the whole kind of concept of that song was like being an entertainer 
and kind of giving all of yourself and kind of the darkness that that can that that can bring to your life when you know all of your energy is going to appeasing other people and not really appeasing yourself or pleasing yourself um, and so that song definitely has some darkness to it poolside I uh, love that song. Um, it just it just goes so hard, but then it's also like a pop song, but then it's not a pop song. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously Mimi at Our Spot went hard as well. Uh, but yeah, there's so many beautiful, beautiful songs on that album. Coping Mechanism, wow. The making of this project, <sighs> it's my favorite to date. Um, you know, me and my good friend Chris Griotti, we just really just put our feet in it. We just said we're gonna make the best album we've ever made. Um, and uh, I'm just I'm just so proud. My I, I can't do one I can't do one favorite song. Uh, and I've just been just been I've been doing way more than one. I, I apologize. Um, but maybe it's my fault. It's one of my favorite songs off that album. Uh, Coping Mechanism, the title track, is one of my favorite songs as well. And I would have to say, You're a Stranger. Whoo! Mm. You're a Stranger really, really hits. You're a Stranger is actually the most metal song I've ever made. Um, and I really want to kind of explore that lane much, much more and do a lot more songs that are purely, purely in that vein. Um, so yeah, super, super excited, super happy about it. I think in the past, I was kind of a control freak when it came to the production of the music. And, you know, even though I really, really love that part of myself that I'm so involved and I'm so instrumental, ha ha ha, no pun intended, in the creation of the actual music itself, I feel like for this album, I really learned a give and take in how to work with someone else that I really, really, I just respect their their artistry on their own. Like Chris is an artist in his own right. And I just trusted him. And I was like, you know what? There are some moments where I don't like that and we should do this. But most of the time I was just like, I trust you. Like I trust you to create something that is dynamic and that I can hop on the track and just do my thing on. Overall, it was just such a give and take experience and I just feel like this was one of my biggest, um, most pure experiences with teamwork. And teamwork makes the dream work, if I do say so myself. Hey, it's Willow and you just watched Mixtape. Uh, I just want to apologize. There were way more songs on this mixtape than I anticipated, but it's all in good fun. 